Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to download and install Jenkins. So let's quickly start. Go to Chrome or any browser you prefer and say download Jenkins. We are going to download Jenkins on Windows machine. Okay, Windows. The installation, the download is started. Okay, here is the installer. Just click on this and keep everything as default. Give some uh, password and make sure you note this down. Okay, and if you want to avoid this uh, putting actual password over here, you can just uh, simply say run as uh, run service as local system and click on next. You can select the port on which you want to install Jenkins. Make sure you test port. Okay, so when you click on test port, uh, it makes sure uh, the port is available for this installation. Okay, so currently my system has Java 17, but uh, only Java 8 and Java 11 are supported by Jenkins. So before you start this, make sure you have uh, correct Java version on your computer. So go to Chrome and say download JDK or download Java 8. We don't need JDK for this. JRE will also work. Okay. So here it is. Click on this installer. It will install Java 8 quickly on your computer. Okay. Java 8 is installed. It will be installed in C program files. Java, no, it's not there. It should be in Java uh, program file 86. Okay, here it is. So you will have to change this path. C program files x86 and Java JDK, yes. JRE, JRE one point eight. Okay, so click on next and say install. Provide the administrator rights. Finish. And now go to services dot msc. Here type J and you can see Jenkins server is already running. Uh, let's open Chrome and type localhost 8080 and you can see Jenkins is getting ready. Let's wait for some time. The installation is complete and uh, you can see it is asking for me a password. Uh, so this password you will find in error logs. Now where are my error logs? To find that just launch services.msc and open Jenkins 
uh, like properties of Jenkins service. Here you will find the exact location where this service is installed. Okay, and open this in Explorer. You can see it's not able to open it. I'll go to program files. There is a folder called Jenkins, but I'm not able to open it because uh, I do not have the rights. So what we can do is uh, open command prompt type cmd in start menu you will see this command prompt option and here you can say run as administrator so you will have administrator rights in this command prompt window type cd backslash this will take you to c drive and then cd program files cd jenkins see you are able to open that folder here now say type dir then you can see there is a jenkins dot err dot log file we need to open this file to get the password uh, we'll try to open it if it does not open for you make sure you can uh, you, your jenkins service is shut down so shut down your jenkins server for for now and uh, try to open this file so type in double quote Jenkins ERR dot log all right click enter here you can see the file is open and here in the end you will see this password which you can use to unlock the Jenkins put your password over here and say continue Oh, I think my uh, Jenkins is down. So go to Jenkins and say start. Wait for some time, fingers crossed. Friends, meanwhile, if this video is helping you, hit that subscribe button right now, like this video and let us know your thoughts, your issues in comment section because we really like to read from you, hear from you. That really makes our day. Alright, this is asking for a password again. Uh, I have added the password and now see, yes the installation install suggested plugins select plugin to install okay so you can simply say install suggested plugin in case uh, uh, if, if you are a new user to Jenkins so it will take some time to install the plugins Friends, you can see all the uh, almost all the plugins are installed. Few of them are failed because of some issue, but uh, anyways, you won't need this plugin as of now. Uh, if you want, you can just retry or say continue. Set up your username and password. Confirm password. needs your email address okay Okay, the email address is here. I'm sorry.
it will just restart the Jenkins service and in a while your Jenkins will be ready to use. your service is up and running if it does not you just try refreshing your page and sign in your password is uh, your Jenkins is ready to use and you can just start configuring it and uh, using it alright friends uh, if this video helped you subscribe to this channel and like this video and let us know your thoughts in comment section because when you write something for us positive or negative it really helps us thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye